start detection of the hydrogen probes and drawing the information in an authentic stainless steel source. If you are ready, please start. Thank you, Chairman. I am Kaya Ajiko from Tohoku University, Japan. Today, I would like to talk to you about my recent research, electrochemical detection of hydrogen desorption during deformation in authentic stainless steels. Metastable authentic stainless steel exhibit deformation induced alpha prime malintensity transformation resulting excellent work hardening capacity and appropriate stainless ductility balance. However, relatively high hydrogen embrittlement susceptibility is currently concerned. Here is the, this table shows hydrogen diffusivity and hydrogen solubility in gamma and alpha prime phase of steel. Ga alpha prime phase transform formation caused low the decreasing hydrogen diffusivity and the increase in hydrogen diffus diffusivity. These local changes may cause hydrogen redistribution. Therefore, hydrogen detection during multi transformation is a key to understanding the hydrogen embrittlement of metastable authentic stainless steel. Although there is some difficulty of hydrogen detection during deformation, de during deformation electrochemical hydrogen detection technique has successfully measured Hydrogen, hydrogen diffusion behavior during deformation in iron and nickel. Here is the principle of, principle of electric uh, experiment used in this study. In this study, hydrogen is introduced before deformation. During the deformation, hydrogen dissolves from the specimen and dissolved hydrogen is oxidized at the surface as re this equation. Hydrogen desorption rate V can be obtained with oxidation current and Faraday constant as shown in this equation. Therefore, in this study, we measured hydrogen desorption rate by electrochemical technique and the effect of deformation on hydrogen desorption behavior of from metastable austenitic stainless steel will be discussed. Let's move on to the experimental procedure. We used two types of austenitic stainless steels, type 316L and 304, with these chemical composition. Here is a table, T here is a graph of phase transformation behavior of the materials with hydrogen charging used in this study. Although type 316L does not show any austenit gamma alpha prime phase transformation, three, type 304 shows dramatic phase transformation. We used two types of different austenitic stainless steel with two different gamma stability to, to compare the effect of phase transformation on hydrogen desorption behavior. Here is the outline of this study. We prepared two types of specimen with hydrogen and without hydrogen as a reference. Firstly, we hydrogen was introduced into the specimen with hydrogen. Then sp specimen was electroplated with nickel and electrochemical hydrogen desorption measurement was carried out. Here is a hydrogen charging condition. We used cathodic polarization for hydrogen introduction. The expected hydrogen penetration depth is about 10 micrometer. The specimen was electroplated with nickel to proceed hydrogen oxidation reaction smoothly. Subsequently, electrochemical hydrogen desorption measurement was carried out. Here is the electrochemical measurement setup used in this study. The electrochemical cell was fixed on the specimen and during the deformation, hydrogen was detected electrochemically. The specimen was deformed with an initial strain rate at five times 10 over minus five per second up to 0 0.5 strain. During the deformation, the specimen was polarized at 0 0.1 volt and hydrogen oxidation current was measured. Here 
Here is the hydrogen desorption behavior of type 316L stainless steel. This graph shows the stress and current changes during this time. And red and orange plot represent the transient with and without, hyd without hydrogen. The current without hydrogen increases with deformation. This is not due to hydrogen desorption, but due to oxidation of fresh surface formed by deformation. The current with hydrogen before and after deformation is larger than that without hydrogen. This result indicates that hydrogen desorption occurred due to diffusion. The yellow area represents the hydrogen dis desorption due to diffusion. In order to clarify the effect of this deformation on dis hydrogen desorption behavior, I will show you the graph subtracting the hydrogen diffusion contribution. Here is the current changes without hydrogen diffusion contribution. You can see that current with hydrogen increase larger than that without hydrogen. This means that hydrogen uh, current increase not only due to the oxidation of fresh surface, but also hydrogen transportation by dislocation motion. Therefore, hydrogen desorption behavior during deformation of type 316L stainless steel was successfully measured using the electro electrochemical te technique. Let's move on to the result of type 304 stainless steel as shown in green. The result of type 316L are shown as a reference. There is a graph of changes in stress and current with time again. And right graph shows the enlarged graph of the current changes. As you can see, the current of type 304 without hydrogen is similar to that with that of 316L without hydrogen. In addition, the changes of current of 304 with hydrogen before deformation is similar to that of 316L with hydrogen. This result indicates that before deformation, hydrogen diffusion behavior in both steel are similar. However, the current of three, type 304 with hydrogen dramatically increased during the deformation, although that of 316L with hydrogen kept almost constant. Therefore, hydrogen desorption behavior from osmotic stainless steel is strongly related to the deformation-induced phase transformation. In the later stage of deformation, serrated flows appeared in stress and current changes. This is related to the localized deformation due to dynamic strain aging. Finally, I would like to discuss the hydrogen desorption behavior with and without phase transformation. Type 316L does not show phase transformation. That is, the result of type 316L means hydrogen desorption behavior from gamma phase. We detected hydrogen desorption due to hydrogen transportation by dislocation motion and hydrogen diffusion. However, hydrogen desorption rate was small. On the other hand, type 304 stainless steel shows dramatic alpha prime phase transformation. Therefore, the difference between the result of type 304 and 316L indicates the effect of trans phase transformation on hydrogen desorption behavior. Hydrogen desorption behavior during alpha prime phase transformation should be considered the effect of hydrogen transportation by transformation dislocation motion and dislocation motion in alpha prime phase and hydrogen diffusion in alpha prime phase in addition to the hydrogen transportation by dislocation motion and hydrogen diffusion in gamma phase. 
The small effect of hydrogen transportation by dislocation motion indicates the small effect of hydrogen transportation by transformation dislocation motion and dislocation motion in alpha prime phase. The alpha prime transformation caused the decrease in hydrogen solubility resulting hydrogen supersaturation in alpha prime phase. In addition, hydrogen diffusivity in alpha prime phase is much higher than that in gamma phase. That is, supersaturated hydrogen diffusion occurred from alpha prime phase with high hydrogen diffusivity, resulting remarkable hydrogen desorption. Here is the conclusion of my today's talk. Thank you for your kind attention.